Roberto has got a real season edge to it. And Roberto Mancini has said a couple of days ago, how can you expect my players to be 100% yet? Well, that will happen in a couple of months' time. Just seems to me they're covering their tracks a little bit because it's not a good day to lose. It's not a good day to lose any football match. But exactly. To lose to your noisy neighbours. <laughs> they've been called mm. well. every winner of the community shield at the new Wembley has gone on to lift the Premier League trophy at the end of that season Manchester United who were that team a year ago with uh, two clouds overhead and a hint of rain in the air here's Vidic and Ferdinand, three very experienced members of the back four. Chris Smalling is, uh, if you like, the odd man out and playing in an odd-ish position for him. He's had one or two games at right back. Well, we're giving you lots of facts and figures. I think this is one we better keep an eye on. Yeah, absolutely. So the right foot of Milner or the left foot of Silver. It's the latter. Julian Lescott and Manchester City have been improving and now they have the lead against Manchester United again at Wembley. That's what we spoke about before Martin, they only have to put in good ball and Silvers does have a wonderful left foot, it's in a fantastic area, they're huge Manchester City. David De Gea is not too happy there I think with the defensive marking but this ball is absolutely sublime as it comes in. All Lescott has to do is get his head to it, and that's got to be a goal. But they are so powerful, they should score loads of these, Manchester City. Don't deserve to be up, but they are. 1-0 City. Well, Lescott was up. A defender, certainly with a goal in his locker, and he's got a Wembley... From Manchester United's uh, perspective down on the bench, there's work to be done. Uh, wait to see what the manager does at half-time to see who's going to do that work. Oh, it's a goal from Edin Dzeko, who just decided to buy the ticket, and he's won the raffle. He certainly has, and uh, David De Gea in goal there with, uh, looks a little bit disconsolate. That's from a long way out. He was never really shut down. He was allowed to come with the ball, and they stayed in one line. No one ever put him under any pressure. Basically, there's a football inside, and here we see. We're just backing off. We're backing off. No one puts the pressure on. Gives him a free strike at goal, and... Uh, it flashes past David De Gea. I think the young man will be rather disappointed with that. The goalkeeper of his class should be saving this one. It does move, but it's not in the corner. And the man the won't be too chuffed with that either, one would have thought. Got to get a lot tighter, shut it down. 2-0 City. Who Can Asher Young come up with here? James and Smalling looking to attack it. Welbeck as well. And it's put in by Chris Smalling. And Manchester United have got one back. And Ashley Young has made it. Great delivery. That's very promising for United. And Smalling sneaked in. 2-1. That's another great delivery, this. He does have this in his locker, Ashley. And young Chris Smalling, it's a lovely little touch. He just takes all the pace off as it comes through. Poor marking from Jekko, allows him to run, but that's a very, very good finish from young Chris Smalling. Look at this, just takes the pace off it, and just lifts it over the top of Joe Hart. Excellent goal. Very much so in the game. This is Manchester United's 11th game at the new Wembley. They've only won two of the previous 10 in 90 minutes. It's actually, uh, if you count the shootout wins, it's 1-5, lost 5. Not exactly uh, a second home for them. Here's a Cleverly. And now Rooney. And now Nani. City trying to put up the barricades. Oh, Nani's in. It's brilliant play. It's a wonderful, oh, a truly wonderful Wembley goal. For Manchester United, for Nani in the Community Shield. And in a 
crush really, 2-0 up for City has become 2-2. You've only got to see the way these guys are celebrating, how much this means to Manchester United getting back these two goals. But what a magnificent goal. This passing and movement was just superb. You, know, you have to stay with runners. You know, City can't allow them to play around and just let them move off the ball. You have to stay with runners. They didn't pick Nani up, but what a finish. That was an absolutely sublime goal. Look at this. One and two touch all over the pitch. It's beautiful. That's something you see on a five-a-side in training. Absolutely fantastic. If you've been watching Manchester United on their US tour, there have been stacks of this stuff, goals that they've almost walked into the net, and that's the... Here's David Silva, well, definitely a bit further out than the free kick that unhinged Manchester United in the first half, but Dzeko's there, and that was a real chance to win the Community Shield for Manchester City, a player of his heading ability, and David ahead on it, and Nani gets away from company, and Nani can win it for Manchester United, and surely has done. From 2-0 down, they are 3-2 up. And a catastrophe for the new City skipper. But David De Gea's bad first half is behind him. The same for his teammates. But how things have changed in a fraction, right? Because Jekko went in with the header. We were expecting it to be City's goal, City's game. It's a free header as well, Martin. And it's just clumped away. But look at Nani. Look at the ground he's making up. The effort he wants to put in. Company's got to clear the ball. He's got to clean him up right out there. Doesn't allow him. But when Nani gets one against one, there was only one winner there. And this young man again today has scored two goals and performed well. Look at the effort that he's putting in. A terrific finish. Well, a remarkable finish to a game that has captured the imagination. <laughs> Pre-season, Sir Alex. I don't think so. This is in the record books. This is a big game. This was always going to be a big game between these uh, two fantastic rivals. And uh, I think over the piece, United have deserved to win. You know, they play some wonderful football. And if anything at this stage, they do look at just a, just a touch fitter than Manchester City. Two goals, an equaliser with a sublime uh, finish from a beautiful yeah. piece of uh, interplay. Who can't believe it, Roberto Mancini, but Manchester United have done it. They retain the community shield. A red success in a Wembley Manchester derby, but how they've had to work for it. Reversing the FA Cup semi-final less than four months ago and reversing the first half of this game. With Mancini's men leading 2-0 at half-time and seemingly on course for victory here. But company's mistake right at the last and Nani's second goal after Smalling had got them back into the contest in the second half. That was the recovery from Manchester United. The trophy presentation to come, it's Manchester United trophy, they've won by three goals to two.